Hello and welcome to another episode of Hoss CRM Dev. Uh, today we are looking at a CRM 2013 tool. It's an advanced find on every record. A catchy name and it does exactly what it says. Um, so we'll go to, it's a free, a free solution on CodePlex. Uh, created by a CRM MVP Dis oh, I can't remember his first name. I did have it earlier. Right, yep, so his name is Damien Sine. Uh, he's a CRM MVP and he's made a an interesting uh, very useful tool. Uh, you can also follow him on Twitter if uh, you wish. I'm not sure how much he Tweets, not that much. Oh, look, there he is, meeting some CRM VPs. Anyway, on he's made a tool called Advanced Find uh, on Record Forms and CRM 2011, 13, sorry. Um, and he, uh, it's just a very simple tool. It just adds the Advanced Find. Now, for some reason, uh, Microsoft decided to remove the advanced find from loads of forms and now when I use CRM I, <laughs> I struggle to find the tool uh, the advanced find button which is really annoying because I find it very useful and use it all the time um, if we have a look in fact so let's see where the t where the advanced find is at the moment If we just go to home, so we'll go to sales first. So you can see it there, it's on that dashboard. Uh, if we then go to accounts, it's still there. But when you go to the actual records, it's gone. But this is something I've added in so that's not usually there so once you get to the actual records like uh, you know accounts contacts any custom records you've created then the advanced find form is disappeared and you've got to sort of try and think how can I navigate back and um, and because there aren't lots of windows it involves a sort of a trip out back to one of the higher forms just to get an advanced find and then back to where you were so it's a bit of an extra bunch of work and it's a bit annoying um, so he's created a solution so you can um, download it it will create it'll, the solution managed solution file will come down uh, it, it's then it will create this solution file so we're going to import that if I can get to Okay, yeah, so if we go settings, if we go solutions, so we're going to import, we're going to choose that file, we're going to advanced find, import him in. This will be quite a quick one today because there's not really much to show. Uh, so you can see here, this is what you've got a solution file, got some labels. That's it really, not much. Um, so that's in now. So we need to do a bit of a refresh. Uh, obviously it's a managed solution, so it's published automatically. So we just need to refresh this really to make sure that it's uh, kicked in. So now if we go back a bit, now if we go back to our records, so it adds the records onto the form basically, as he describes here. So he's got a contact there. So we will test this out. So first we'll go to um, an account record. Now what you notice is that it's not in the front line first five choices. 
it's just hidden down here, advanced find. Um, and so let's check that it's also added onto contacts on the old Canon here. And so you can see again, advanced find, beautiful. So now it's everywhere you can get it. It's not really even taking up any rooms. It's just in the in the treble dots there. Um, so good, nice piece of uh, solutioning there. Um, I think that's a really good one. Very simple but effective. And uh, I was looking, just seeing what's actually involved. And the main change is held within here. That's all there is. That's only three files in a solution. One's a solution file, and that one's got nothing in. So it's in here. And then basically, this is it really. Just this little thing here. I'm not quite sure. Can't quite make out really what, how that works. But she's got advanced find. So he's actually. It's interesting. So. I was just looking about at the kind of adding, a, using the ribbon workbench to add in um, a button. And so I'm, I'm quite interested how we managed to get the button to add it onto all of them. Because I would like to do something similar, but you can see here, it's got a advanced prime record. This, this, so that must somehow add it into all of them thinking so, and then I was mucking around today and I did a little thing <laughs> record record GUID so just a little thing that puts out the GUID ID I was just uh, mucking around with the room workbench to see if I could add in my own button. Um, I will go through that in a future uh, recording. Right, well, that's it really. There's not much else to say with this one. And I've probably already whittled on far too long as it is. Uh, I hope you um, watch my other YouTube videos and, uh, and my blog, of course, Hosk's Dynamic CRM blog. Ta-ra for now.